Hey, I have no idea how long this video is going to be. It's a work with me video and I'm showing you the honest, truthful, crazy process in my head. So my idea is to use this book of healing remedies to gather information that I can use to make some printables. So my Etsy shop that my Etsy shop that sells witchy digital products is the one that I'm working on right now. And I have several digital items already. Wall art, book of shadow pages, spells, different things, right? Um, and I just had like this idea to, there's so much information in this book. Like, it's amazing. So I just had the idea to find some images of herbs and other different items like garlic and whatever other kind of flowers and such that we use for healing remedies. And I just need to find the images that I can use and then basically use the information from the book, obviously not typed exactly, there's copyright, but using the information in the book to uh, then create informative sheets as well. So this is my process. It may seem messy. Um, but I have a bunch of pages in this book. Like, there's tons dog-eared. Don't come for me, book lovers. I love books, but I dog-ear everything. Uh, so, for example, there's, um, fennel is one of the, uh, seeds, herbs, you know, items that I'm going to be using. So, let's see, public domain herb images is what I'm going to start with. There's a website that I forgot the name of. Something fairy. Ah, there we go. Vintage fairy. Graphics fairy. Okay, so let's see if she has fennel. If not, I'll look somewhere else. Nope, no fennel here. So I'll find it somewhere else. Let me find something that'll be easier maybe for to have. I don't know. The site has like 30,000 images or something crazy. Hmm. All right, what else are we going to use? We use mustard. We use, let's see if mustard's in there. No, okay. I bet you guys have lavender. Everybody has lavender. So I'm going to just go in the book, find out where the lavender remedies are. Uh, like I said, this is literally my process, so it's kind of a mess. All right, and here's a page with lavender. And I actually already know the properties and uses of lavender, but I'm trying to like show the whole process here. So we're going to start back over on Canva and go to create a design. I'm creating printables that are going to be uh, U.S. letter size. Actually, have some herb images downloaded already. So we've got lavender and rosemary. Those are the ones we'll do on this little video. Because many people print these images on parchment paper, the first thing I do when I have an image is I use the background remover. Because whenever I save these, they're going to be saved with a transparent background so they can print them on whatever they want to print them on. And I have no idea the uh, layout or design I'm going to do yet. I, I have no idea. Uh, I just know that I want to put some information together from this book. So I'm just going to start there. Um, using the style guide over here is really nice because it gets you fonts that go together, colors, all that stuff. Um, I just go through, I really like this font. I don't like, uh, let's see, 
So it's kind of spread out and I don't like that. So what I'm going to do is change how close the letters are just so they connect. I know there's a word for that, but okay. So then we put lavender and this background needs to go because like I said, I'm doing transparent and you just got to play around with the size, placement, color, all of that stuff, right? Uh, so I know that I want a title font and I know I want it to feel handwritten, vintage -y esque uh, that's not a word, but you know what I mean. Um, so I'm going to go over to the other texts and these aren't really, this is kind of more for like a cover photo or cover page of a book or something. So I just select my text and then go through my fonts, which I have a gazillion, but I like the vintage one. So we'll just leave it for that for right now. I'm going to make the font black because again we're going to be printing uh let me lock this if you don't want something to move just lock it um so you don't want to have light colors if you're doing transparent and and they're printing on a background that that wouldn't show up on i know that my customers like to print on parchment paper or white paper so i try to keep everything black as far as text goes for the most part. All right, so then we just need to say, okay, what are the lavender uses, properties, whatever it is that I'm wanting to cover. So I'm going to say relieve stress because that's huge. Um, let's see, promotes relaxation. Same thing as relieve stress. Mm. Can help with headaches, stress, tension, fatigue what else probably I think let's see yes infection I'm not sure how I want this I almost feel like I could have two a page if I did it like this and I don't want that I want more like a With this in particular, you have to be careful with what information you're putting out there. You definitely, if you're going to do something like this, want a disclaimer. You want to make sure you're not claiming that this is going to cure their cancer, that kind of thing. Um, but I do think that it's important to have information like this out there. Um, I'm really big into herbs and herbal remedies. So... I will walk the line of having my disclaimer, but I do still want to put the information out there. Not 100% sold on how this looks, to be completely honest, but just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to move forward with it so you can see. Um, Rosemary is the other one. We're going to unlock. Oh, it's already unlocked. Cool. So we're going to find our Rosemary. And we're going to remove the background. I like to duplicate pages rather than uh, creating new ones sometimes because then I know the layout is the same. See, so it's duplicated, so it's the exact same. So then we say, okay, uh, besides stomach aches, what are we going to use rosemary for? Uh, can help with headaches, stomach aches. I know that rosemary is very good with stomach aches. Um, what else? 
says the same kind of things. Fatigue. Um, let's see. And then another thing you could do, just use Google too. Rosemary healing properties. That's basically what I'm covering is like healing properties, health benefits, that kind of thing. Um, you want to make sure you're getting good information. I know a lot of this stuff, but it's not at the front of my mind. So this is kind of like a jog my memory type thing. So if, if that's where you're at and you're putting information out there like this, then you can just Google and look and say, okay, obviously we know that uh, parsley helps with XYZ. Rosemary helps with XYZ. Uh, it says improves memory, which is actually something that I have uh, been reading about. Let's see. Memory, um, memory improvement. I'll just do that. I don't like, again, I'm not 100% sold on this, but you just got to work through it, you know? And you kind of want to have the style and the, the layout that you're wanting to do. You kind of want to have that figured out at the beginning. Because if I make 50 of these, which is the plan, uh, I don't want to go through and edit 50 of them. I want to have my style, my template kind of figured out right away. Uh, so that's why I'm kind of going back and forth on this. I don't love it and I don't want to go back and have to edit 500 well, 50, but still 500 pages because that's what it's going to feel like whenever you're doing it. Mm. Maybe we'll go from side to side, change them up a little bit. Uh, in case you missed that, that was the flip button and I just clicked flip horizontal. You can also click flip vertical if that's how you want to do it. Use these alignment tools, all of these pink lines, the dotted lines, the solid lines, all of this is telling you how to align like this right here. It's going to tell you, okay, it's in the center, perfect, whatever. Uh, use those to align everything. Your eyes can lie to you. Mine are terrible. I'm terrible at this, uh, I, at the alignment. So your eyes can lie to you. Use the tools that you have as much as possible. All right. I'm okay with this layout, doesn't mean I'm not going to go back and change it uh, a million times, honestly, but, alright, some of the items can be found on Canva, if you have Canva Pro especially. There's different things to keep in mind, like um, personally, if I'm going to be rotating these back and forth, then I'm assuming that my customers are going to print them in the same exact order and the same exact way I have them. That's probably not the best because they might not. They might want them uniform, so I'm going to think about that. Um, but uh, we could do rose. We could do rose hips. What are roses good for? Do we have roses over here? Soothing, antiseptic, of course make rose water. Soothing antiseptic can help with I hate including depression in this because like how about mood lifting? That's better. I don't like using, you don't want to use words like depression. That's literally a clinical diagnosis, and we don't need to mess with that. Um, and that's coming from someone who has lots of clinical diagnoses. <laughs> uh, so for me, what I would do is, uh, to start, I would outline this in, on index cards usually, but because I'm shooting this video, I just wanted to show you how you can do it kind of like on the fly. If you're short on ideas, literally look at your bookshelf. What do you read? Whether it's your Kindle bookshelf or your physical bookshelf like mine, uh, what is it that you read? What are you interested in? What takes up your time? What are your hobbies? These are all things you can teach and share with other people. 
So once I complete this process, it's probably going to be about a 50 page ebook. I'm going to head back over to my shop and I'm going to list it just like I listed these with a mock-up. It's not the same since it's an ebook, but it's going to have a mock-up. It's going to show them exactly what's in it. Uh, and then it's going to have a really nice long listing to explain why they absolutely positively need this. I just created another PDF about um, an old witch legend and did the same thing. My mock-ups are not anything to be proud of. I do not use my energy for mock-ups. If you can find some mock-ups that work well for you, it's going to serve you really well. Um, hopefully this video helped you all. If you have questions, let me know. Uh, I will attach my listing to this whenever I finally get it up.